Welcome back, family. You know what I need y'all guys to do. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me, guys. My channel is growing. Despite not small beginnings. You understand? Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Comment, family. I'm trying to get into the YouTube algorithm. YouTube tripping sometimes, but I'm going to keep peddling it anyway. Support my channel by going to the Cash App, guys, and donating there. It's dollar sign drummer1980. I do appreciate you in advance. You also can support my channel by clicking on the super thanks located under the video, guys. Donating there as well. And like how I tell each and every one of y'all, I do appreciate you. Ten folds over, hands down. I'm proud that you're rocking with me. Well, family, I'm back again. You know my motto. I don't make believe, I make believers. I'm your gracious host, Drummer. 1980, hailing from the Carolinas, Columbia, South Carolina, if you're looking for me. I hope you had a good day today. And if you didn't have a good day, ask yourself why. Because remember this, happiness is an inside job. In other words, it's your responsibility. Let me say that one more time. Happiness is an inside job. And it will always be an internal affair. But family, we back today again. Feeling good like a million bucks. You understand? Charleston White is back on the radar again, guys. Charleston White was dropping some knowledge in here. Now, I know sometimes he trolls, but every now and then, he comes through swinging a big stick. And in this occasion, he's swinging a big stick. I'm going to call you to the screen, guys. Let's go. Get your popcorn. You didn't ask me about kings who had many women. So I want to uh -huh. show you an example of something. Uh -huh. You asked me about what about women who had many men, and then you specifically brought up Cleopatra. Mm -hmm. And I spoke to you about how she lost her kingdom because of that. You can't find no other woman after her who have had many men and who was great. I'm about to look into that. I'm, I have, so I'm, that's why I'm having this <laughs> debate with you. That's why I'm having. It. That's why. <laughs> that's why I'm having this. You can't no no other. That's why even the Queen of England, she died and ruled for many years, had one husband that we know of. That that, that, that but we listen, know of. That's that's why I'm gonna tell you something about a woman. You won't know nothing else about a woman, but what you know of. But everything about a bitch in a hole, you're going to know everything about her, not about a woman. A woman is always going to be secretive uh -huh. and going to be reign anonymous. The women. Huh? That one statement right there alone done burnt the house down. Did you hear? Oh, my God. About a woman. Mm, I'm talking about a woman. Now, we ain't talking about these big mouth, loud mouth, brash, scat backs, slick back. Thoughts. No, we ain't talking about them. We talking about a woman. A woman is a valuable asset to a man. She's complimentary to a man. But first, you have to be a man now, fellas. Now, we ain't talking about somebody that's broken. I don't know what to do. The man holding me back. Yes, the man is holding us back. He is. But find a way. Do the best you can with what you have. But getting back to this here, if you notice... A woman won't show everything she got. God, I didn't know. You heard Jesus me. Jesus Christ. She won't show off her cleavage to everybody because it's a sacred thing. Don't you know that you are attractive without showing your mammary glands to everybody? Don't you get that? Don't you know that you are attractive without a face full of makeup? What? He bashing us. He's bashing us. Nope. Women are naturally beautiful. Now, everybody is not appeasing to thy eye, not my eye. But I'm saying, if you run across a naturally beautiful woman, she's beautiful without makeup. She don't have to walk around half naked in order to attract a man. That's why half of y'all single and can't get nobody because you attracting the wrong thing. A woman is secretive. She don't go plastering all of her business on Facebook, Twitter. I say, can you hear me? The woman don't get on YouTube and just tell everything about a person of business. She might tell something, but it's not that in depth. You understand? So Charleston spoke a mouthful right here. Let's go. And today aren't secretive and they're unanonymous. You're going to know okay. about every man she slept okay. with. But the Queen of England, from Michelle Obama to Coretta Scott King, you won't hear nothing about who they slept with. But great men, you will always hear about great men having many and multiple women from kings and presidents. That's the expectation. But, that but you won't. Just have well, well, that's not the expectation. That's the nature and uh -huh. that's the God design of a man. Mm -hmm. God created a man to be free. 
fruitful and to multiply. That's why a woman gets pregnant and remains pregnant for nine months. And while she's pregnant, a man can continue impregnating other women. She can only get pregnant one time. So it's not designed for her to be with multiple men. Right. No, that's I don't listen. I don't disagree with women, you know, being with one man. But I do. I, I do think that there's kind of like a double standard. It is. It, it's a double standard. It's a double standard in nature. And, and we don't make the standards. We just we operate out of nature. We're humans. We, we can't. We don't get to make the standards of nature. Nature says man is more dominant than woman. Man is physically more. He said a mouthful again. Let me pick it back off of that. Ladies, let me talk to y'all for about 60 seconds and we're going to get back to Charleston White. See what a man gives up and sacrifice, what he gives up for you is what Charleston's talking about. No more running around, playing around. I'm talking about righteous men. Now you got some men that want to have a whole harem of women. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm not talking about y'all. This is for the normal people, all right? He gives up all of that running around. He literally have to discipline himself in order to be with one woman because his nature is telling him to jump from pillar to post. You understand? Nature is telling him to have his cake and eat it too. Do you hear me? Oh, That's God. what nature is saying. Simply because he have a never ending of factory of seed that's being made naturally in his body. Just his body is just pumping out testosterone. His seed is being produced and he want to release if you understand that. So that's what he gives up for you. You understand? See, you don't feel like that. And if you do feel like that, they something wrong. Or stronger than woman. You can't Nate, you can't deny physically, that. Not and, and mentally. No, they're not. Depends on who you're asking. Okay. Well, well, you go that's, to war then. That's not that's physical. I that's mean. that's no no, that's no, mental. Okay, yeah. Because because there's, because war is not mental. War, you stand in the woods, you war is not physical because you don't really get to see your opponent. You guys are shooting from over no, here. It's, it's, it's strategic. Well, women well, have been, women are, are, are going to war. Every but, day. but, but women, women but, 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 but women they don't get drafted. Are, they, they uh, enlist for uh, the army. Ladies and gentlemen, war is mental and physical. It's both of them. It's a combination of the two because sometimes you might have to drag your partner because his leg is blown off or got shot. So that's physical and mental. You might have to dig a ditch. A bunker or anything that's physical. Your partner might have got his head blowed off. That's mental. You understand? Let's go. Uh, women aren't leaders. W women aren't sergeants. Women, women aren't analytical, right? That's not true. That is, that, that, that is true. That's why women are nurturers and men are hunters. That's why when God created man and woman, mm -hmm. one have a emotional makeup and one have a analytical makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because when you ask a man, hey, how do you feel about this? What is he going to do? A man, if you ask a man, how do he feel? He's going to tell you what he thinks. You ask a woman what she thinks, she's going to tell you how she feels. Okay. Why? All because right. one is a nurturer right, and right. one is a natural born <laughs> hunter. You so one is a thinker, an analytic, uh -huh. he's strategic. A woman feels. But don't you feel, don't. And you can't lead with feelings. Listen, don't you think that you need both in every, in, in every situation? A, a, a man can't be a man in this city. I'm not saying that. Oh, okay, I'm talking about like there's people that think that there's no place for women in certain in certain industries. It's not. Like what? It's not. Like what? Uh, it, it shouldn't be no woman president. Uh, it shouldn't Why? be no well, because women aren't designed to lead. That's not true. That is true. Okay, so but we can push men forward and motivate uh, them well, well, that, to that, be better, but uh, we can't. But but, but but encouraging and motivating aren't leading. Okay. Come on, baby, you okay. can do it. Come on, baby. Oh, that's 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 motivation, and you and and, that, and that's the fuel to say, oh, I can do it. Come on, baby, uh -huh. you can do it. So that's not leading. Okay, that's inspiring, motivating. That's what okay. your mother does. Your uh -huh. father comes home and lead. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I must say that I do agree with Charleston White on this take right here. I don't believe women can lead in most instances. Now you do have some happenstance, some outliers, but. In general, absolutely not. Simply because if a woman could lead, the community wouldn't be so jacked up in these single mother households. Mm, mm, what? I know y'all gonna be in your feelings, but I'm not going by what I feel. I'm going by what I see. I'm going by what the results say. 
And what does the result say? Chaos, catastrophe, calamity. That's what I see, confusion. Because of lack of leadership. But yes, women be in their feelings and men go by what they think is logical. Most of them do. Unless they have been raised by a woman. Okay? Granted, guys, a woman can raise a law by the citizen. But whenever that guy gets around other men that have been raised by men or either had a good father up in their home, you can see a clear cut difference in them. Because there is going to be something lacking. I'm not saying the guys are a terrible person. That's not what I'm saying. But if a guy haven't been around men, listen to what I'm saying. If he haven't been around men, his response going to be that of a female. He's going to be into his feelings. That's what's going to happen. That's why it's so easy for these young cats to pull out a gun for no reason and just blast somebody and just ruin his whole life simply because he wasn't raised with a good dude in the house. Or either he could have been raised by a man that's effeminate. And what do I mean by that? Somebody that handles situations like a woman. I'm not calling you gay. No, 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 no. That's why family is always a positive to hang around some masculine men. Boys need to see men. You heard me? Not by biology, but by character. Boys need to hang around men. Not by biology, but by masculinity. Because they need to pick up those traits. Because they plenty of times that I don't want to do certain things, but I understand somebody is dependent on me. So what do I do? I put my best foot forward. Because trust me, I don't feel like doing certain things, but I do it in spite of. Simply because I understand the role of a man. Did you hear me? Whenever did you have a masculine man, I'm not saying a man to bust you outside the head. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a guy that's telling you, you better be home in 15 minutes because I time you and you better be. I'm not talking about those kind of guys because those kind of guys need help, need counseling. Something need to be done. I'm not talking about the kind of guys that's running around and sleeping with Mary Jane Sue and Lakeisha and Rita and all that. I'm not talking about that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about somebody that do it for you. God almighty. I'm finna get into my bag. You heard me. I'm talking about somebody that have the it factor. I'm talking about that guy what the other women want. You know what I'm saying. You understand. I'm talking about that man that stand on business. Shout out to T.I. son. I'm talking about that guy that handle business. I'm talking about that guy that can put on a suit, but yet wear a pair of jeans and some joints when need be. Or either he can dress up and go to a black tie fair when need be. So he has the best of both worlds. I'm talking about a guy to make your toes bend back. God told me to catch a child horse up in your foot. Huh? You heard me, don't you? I'm talking about him. Once you find something that's similar to a guy of that caliber, why not subject yourself to him? Because after all, what are you going to find better? Well, he just don't do it for me. He got an old man spirit. That's why you lose. I want a bad boy. Okay. That's why you're going to get bad results. You understand that? And you have to understand sometimes what you want will take you down the road of degradation. What you want will carry you to a dead end. What you want will cause you to die in misery. It's not about what you want. It's about what you need. With that being said, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come on back to see me. I'm feeling good tonight, guys. Come on back to see drum because this is what we do on this side. We talk to the women. We talk to the men. We talk to the children. Until next time, peace. And remember, there is more.